Morning guys, I'm Lisa Lopez coming to you from AshLisaLopez.com How cold is it today? Oh my god, it's absolutely freezing Anyway, I wanted to share with you on today's video six things that I learnt from Kathleen Degelman Now I'm going to be interviewing Kathleen Degelman on the 28th of January and um, that's going to be really, really amazing. But I'm going to talk more about that next week. But Kathleen is one of my mentors. And there's a few things that really resonated with me um, while I've been following Kathleen and while she's been mentoring me as well. So I wrote them down because it's, it's quite hard to remember five things. But it's the risks that you take that make all the difference so we have to take risks in life and i've always been a risk taker anyway so this one really um fits with me um there's a lot of people who have to keep thinking about it thinking about it thinking about it or they sit on the fence not just when joining network marketing but once they're actually in network marketing as well they don't take those risks and get out of their comfort zone um, and start getting really uncomfortable with the things that they fear um from my own personal experience, once you start doing those things that really stretch you out of your comfort zone, it actually becomes really, really easy. It's just a, it's just all in your mind. It's the first couple of initial times when you really do feel uncomfortable, and after that, it it subsides. The best cure for fear is just to do it. Um, there's a really popular book, Feel the Fear and Do It Anyway. If you're, if you are, if that's what you're experiencing at the moment, then yeah, I highly recommend that you go and read that book, Feel the Fear and Do It Anyway. Um, the second one is rejection is just one of those things you just need to learn to deal with. And it is because in network marketing, we come across so many objections it's unbelievable and it makes you resilient as a, as an individual um so just get over it get over the fact just know that you're going to get lots and lots of no's before you get a yes i always um, my me my other mentor lisa torres teach us to go for five yeses um so just get used to it get used to the fact that you are you know you're gonna get rejected and it's not personal it's not personal it's just that that person is not ready yet. a no is never a no okay it's it's always it's not the right time it's just the circumstances that's in that person's life going on in that person's life at the minute they're not ready to to commit so um, always do your follow up because like you say the fortune is in the follow up as well and just because they say no to you in January doesn't mean they're going to be saying no to you in August people's lives change make that someday now so make that someday now when you go into company events and you're you know you're experiencing and seeing the people up on stage and and saying to yourself that's going to be me one day well start manifesting that day into your reality now start being and acting that like that person right now and you will naturally attract it sooner into your life so make that someday now stop waiting make it today that someday that person that you need to be in the future make you know start being that person today do the mindset work work early and figure out what your blocks are around money and wealth so everybody when entering network marketing or a lot of people do have some blocks when it comes to money and wealth because your mindset's been trained from an early age to go to work work nine to five you work hard um you know you'll you'll be okay so there is some in network marketing there's large amounts of money to be earned and you know you can really get yourself to a six and seven figure income earner in a really short period of time if you put the time and effort in and 
sometimes we get blocks around that around money and wealth and that we, we don't deserve it well you need to do that mindset work early and and really figure out what those blocks are and deal with them and put them aside so that you can start becoming wealthy consistent spiritual practice we all need to do consistent spiritual practice we need to meditate on a daily basis and we need to do visualization exercises and lots of other things um, that work on our spiritual growth on a daily basis and then you need to get really good at telling your story facts tell stories sell so you need to get absolutely amazing become really au fait with your story and and other and if you haven't got a story at the moment you need to get comfortable with telling other people's stories because stories do sell so there the few the the six or seven things that i've learned from kathleen degelman an amazing leader absolutely amazing mentor like i said i'll be interviewing her next week on the 28th of january um this week i'm going to be interviewing on friday i'll be interviewing lisa torres so two amazing six and seven figure earners i've got the privilege of interviewing over the next coming weeks i'll be sending out some links for those over the next couple of days and i'll catch up with you guys on tomorrow's video thank you